Water is an issue that's on everyone's lips. Um, the Western Cape is suffering huge, huge droughts and likewise in other parts of the country. And we have to find smart ways to get around it. How do we garden with as little water as possible? And today I'm going to show you three great ways that you can get around it. And guys, it is so important. It's not about stopping gardening. It's about how do we garden around it, okay? So first up, what I want to show you is one glass of water, this stuff over here. It's called Waterwise Crystals, and they're amazing. <laughs> I love this stuff. Um, I use it mixed in my potting soils with my coconut husk, and the reason being, I'm gonna show you. I'm literally gonna take two grams, I'm gonna put it into this glass of water, stirring it, and I want you to see what's gonna happen. So we're gonna leave this little baby in here, and uh, we're going to come back to it in a few seconds time, but I'm just going to pop him there. Right, while we give that a few seconds, I want to show you how we're going to get this done. Now, if you're planting a tree or a fruit tree, and folks, every gardener should be planting a fruit tree, uh, whether it's lemon, mangoes, oranges, just have something that you can pick. And you know, a lemon, in fact, makes a wonderful small garden tree. But this is how we do it. It's literally a piece of 50 mil um, plumbing pipe, um, and all that we've done is we've cut a 45 over here, all right, 45 degree, depending on the size of the plant that you're planting. So if you're planting a lemon that comes in a big bag like this, you obviously want a long piece of pipe. If you're planting a small shrub, then you don't need it. It's as long as the depth of the bag is that you purchase it in. And then what we've done is we've used about a five mil drill bit and drilled a few little holes at the base. The idea is, imagine if this is the ground, you would pop this in whilst planting your plant, let it stick out about that much above the soil, and then you would water through here. So we're watering, the water will then start filtrating out of here, and literally what we're doing is we're going right to the root zone. No water will be, will be wasted, there'll be no evaporation, and we're getting right to the root zone where the plants need it most. So this works really, really nicely. You can get yourself any length, and depending, of course, on the size of the plant. It's important not to put this too deep beyond the bag size, or else you're gonna be watering beyond the root zone and not watering at all. But that's one way to do it. So we're gonna put this baby down here. Another way to do it if you're using smaller plants or some bedding plants is to take an ordinary plastic bottle. The first thing we need to do is get a hacksaw and we are just going to take the top off, right over here, okay? Okay, so we've taken that off. That's gonna be where we're gonna be putting the water in. Now, we've got the lid, which we are going to be leaving, right? But in order to do what I need to do, we've got a very, very small drill bit, folks. And this is literally a two mil drill bit. Nice and small because we want the water to permeate gently through this because it's much shorter, all right? So a couple of holes literally into the top, all right? We can pop that baby back. And then one or two over here by the neck. So to demonstrate, and I really don't want to show you this, is that you can imagine if we have planted this in the soil. Have a look here, guys, have a look here. So there we go, okay. Do you see? Look where the water's coming out. We are going straight into the root zone it's coming out nice and gently, and that is exactly what we want. And for me, it's an absolute winner. I really dig it. Right. Now, let's show you how it's done. Okay. Before we get onto that, I want to show you this stuff. <laughs> Look what's happened. <laughs> she is standing straight up. Yes. So those two to three grams of water-wise crystals that I added in here, Look what they've done to the water. Literally sucked up the whole thing. I can turn it right upside down, and that is the amazing part of these crystals. They literally suck up the water. They're completely organic. They are no way harmful. They decompose naturally in the soil. So it's a really good additive to use. So in my potting mix, not only do I use the coconut husk now, but I add some of this in as well. Because imagine, when your plants are needing water, they're gonna suck it all up into here. Absolutely brilliant. So, let's show you how to do it. Into my pot here, I'm gonna be adding in my drainage pebbles. 
Then we've got our mixture that we have added in our coconut husk. We've got our handful of organic pellets and of course our bone meal in already. And the last thing that I want to add in is what we've just demonstrated, which is the water wise crystals. Sprinkle it on dry. Okay, give it a good mix. Now that it's all mixed in properly, I'm going to take my little bottle, which is going to be my water saving. And all we do is we just measure it up against here. And we work out practically where's the root zone of the plant going to be. And I'm going to be planting these, these beautiful pelagoniums. So when you think about where the root zone is going to be, it needs to be about there because that's where we'll be feeding, okay? So we need to cut this guy a little bit shorter, just using our hacksaw again. Okay, we've established the height. We've established where we want it. We can now add in some of our mixture. And then we pop that baby in. Do you see where we've got the height? We've got it perfectly right there. So that is gonna be level with the top of our pot and that's where we're going to be watering you could of course make it a bit taller but i don't particularly want to see it okay i want it to be hidden in between the plants it's not going to be like my focal point all right not the idea at all so once we've got that in place we're going to take one of our plants and we simply pop it around there there we go all right get our next one over here and now i can start adding in a bit of soil Alrighty, folks, and this is what I love about this gadget, because imagine if you've planted a whole lot of annuals. You could have a few of these dotted round. Can you even see it? No, initially you might, but when it comes to watering, all we're simply going to do is take our watering can and we are going to go into there. Nice and easy. Watch how slowly it drains now because of the soil around it that's forming a bit of a buffer much slower than previously when I demonstrated. And that's the point. It's oozing away slowly into the root zone and that's your pot watered. That for me is smart water-wise gardening. We've used so many principles here. We've used the fact that we've recycled something, a plastic bottle with the fine little holes in it. We've added the coconut husk to our potting soil, which absorbs moisture. We've added the water-wise crystals, brilliant. Plus we've put drainage pebbles in here, which are also gonna assist it. And we are not wasting a drop of water, and yet we can still have our beautiful containers, or lemon trees, or any other fruit tree.